Before we approach that, uh, we should start and uh, discuss certain aspects of uh, political parties, party building in that context, democracy, and also some of the processes in democracy, especially the electoral system and uh, the vexed issue which we have been talking about for uh, maybe decades together, which is about electoral reforms. But before I do that, let me understand how are you feeling? Are you enjoying the five day Great. session? Yeah, yes, sir. Would you like this to be extended for another yes. five days? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so we are at the fag end of this uh, five day session and uh, I have been asked to basically deal with the subjects which are referred to. I was told that most of you would be more comfortable in English which is why I started in English but we can uh, switch over to Hindi uh, as and when required and as for the convenience of the board. Basically, when we talk about politics and political parties and all of us are uh, members of a polity in that sense and therefore we are all voters and I am sure all of you must have exercised your right to vote and therefore all of us are politically literate if not uh, have developed a deeper insight into how politics is conducted, we are politically literate. On that uh, setting, if I may ask you one question, according to you, why people join politics? Kyo, kyo, kyo join, join huh? so in order to bring the change. In order to bring the change. Politics may change the change politics. Okay. Anybody else, if somebody would venture? Huh? Sir, to use, to use it as a platform to facilitate the people and to work for the betterment of the society and at the same, to work for the people. Okay, same, and almost same answer. To provide justice and other uh, things provided in the constitution to make them uh, really implement at the ground. So it goes with making a change, making a difference in a larger context. If there is any other angle that you would like sir, to share. Yeah. Sir, uh, sir, uh, sir, 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 you just stand for an election? No, okay. Then getting affiliated to parties. Getting affiliated to a political party. Which is very critical. Because in democracy, what is the beauty of democracy? The beauty of democracy is that democracy offers you an element of choice. And since there is choice, you have to have options. If there are no options, choice has no meaning. And therefore, the political parties or a plethora of political parties, the variety of political parties with different names, different flags, different ideologies, ideally, different uh, philosophies, you get an element of choice which you can exercise by way of giving your vote. So that is the beauty of democracy and therefore that is the importance of political parties. Can you Attempt a wide guess how many political parties are there in India? Sorry? So many political parties. Innumerable is what he is saying. But uh, it's not like that. I mean, you are closer to the uh, real answer, but still. Somewhere around 5,000. Somewhere around 5,000. Registered. Koi guess Nahi? There are, a simple sa vishay hai, you visit the website of the Election Commission of India and you will get to know. There are two categories of political parties. One category is registered political party and the other one is recognized political party. 
registered party anybody can go for example after this session if five six of you go to the office of the election commission today is sunday so you cannot do it today but maybe tomorrow or day after and you give the requisite documents which are very simple there is nothing it doesn't take a big uh, amount of documentation if that particular thing you complete if that formality is over you can come back and straight away go to a printing press and print your card saying xyz president kashmir vikas party or whatever the name you require it is as simple as that therefore in our country we have more than 1600 political parties and the number is always growing because establishing a political party has become damn easy it's a child's play everybody can do it but to get recognition requires a requisite amount of votes which you can count only after there is a election so the kind of mandate that you are able to secure decides whether you can get that recognition as a political party or not and the number of recognized political parties nationally is below 10 and uh, if you count the state level parties also it may go somewhere around maybe 60 to 100 70 to 100 something just to they have to say something na political party is not a shop कि यहाँ पर चीजों को बेचा जाता है ऐसा हाँ पार्टी भी कुछ चीजें कभी कभार बेचती है नेचुरल डिफरेंट स्टोरी मगर पॉलिटिकल पार्टी एक संगठन है इट्स एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज इट्स ओन एम्स एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव्स इट्स ओन फिलोसॉफी इट्स ओन ऑब्जेक्ट काइंड ऑफ वे ऑफ फंक्शनिंग इट्स ओन स्ट्रक्चर इट इज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर एंड विदाउट दैट अनफॉर्चुनेटली पार्टीज मीन नथिंग मगर हमारे देश में यह हुआ है ओवर द इयर्स दैट पॉलिटिकल पार्टी आई मीन फॉर्मिंग द पॉलिटिकल पार्टी हैव बीन रिड्यूस टू सच ए सिंपल थिंग ओवर सिंप्लीफिकेशन रादर व्हिच इज व्हाई वी फाइंड अ प्लेथोरा ऑफ पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज मेनी ऑफ द पार्टीज आर नॉट इवन एग्जिस्टेंट शिव सेना रिमेंस इन एग्जिस्टेंस बाय द माय ऐसा कश्मीर में भी है हम सब जानते हैं देश के लगभग सारे क्षेत्रों में है समाजवादी पार्टी ऐसी है बिल्कुल आपके आंध्र प्रदेश में है कर्नाटक में देवेगौड़ा जी की पार्टी है मतलब व्हेन यू से अबाउट इंस्टीट्यूशनलाइजेशन ए पार्टी हैज टू हैव ए सेक्रेटरीट इट हैज टू हैव एन ऑफिस इट हैज टू हैव ए रिसर्च डिपार्टमेंट हाउ विल दे कम आउट विद पॉलिसीज इफ देयर इज नो रिसर्च दे हैव टू हैव ए डॉक्यूमेंटेशन डिपार्टमेंट देयर आर पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज कैन यू टेल मी देयर इज वन पॉलिटिकल पार्टी इन इंडिया which has steadfastly said that we are not going to issue any manifesto and still they are getting votes and they are coming to power and repeated which is that point last ke janta the bjp bjp have been kuch nahi nikalenge bawajood iske logon ne unko bhar bhar ke vote diye hai aur wo chun kar aayi hai to that is the scenario of political parties and these are the challenges in so far as political parties are concerned now coming to the de ideologization aspect of it i again uh, go back to the initial uh, remarks which i made that democracy offers you an element of choice now the choice is important when you are able to or you are asked to select between say most of the their manifestos are just xerox copies of their previous manifestos there is no application of mind they don't have any particular policy issue to be taken up and therefore people vote only on the basis of the charismatic leader that is there a or whatever the things that the political parties are distributing to allure the voters kashmir mein bhi ye hota hi hoga to bhagyavash yahan par bhi cheezon ko log baatte hain hamare maharashtra mein jab chunav hua beech mein to municipal corporation mein एक बंदे ने रेफ्रिजरेटर बांटे अभी ये मतलब कितना वो कमाता होगा बाद में आप कल्पना कर सकते हैं Example from Maharashtra, essentially, because I come from there. But I'm sure the situation is not different 
quello del Delio e il Hyderabad e il Bangalore no? there. It has so happened that after the 73rd and 74th amendment, in spite of it rather, we have not been able to amend the ground of the way we govern our municipalities. And therefore most municipal corporators do not have any ability to execute anything. If you approach a municipal corporator and ask him, ki bhaiya ye ek rasta hamara one way karna chahiye, ye two way hai, bant karo. To bole ga, mein kya kar sakta hoon, it is not in my hands. Aap kahe ne ki ye gatar jo hai, isko aisa aisa karna chahiye. To bole ga, mein kya kar sakta hoon, mein kya ho liye koonga, mere paas haath mein kuch nahi hai. And all those kinds of things. But he is having a great value, which is known as nuisance value. He cannot do anything good, but he can do society, to sustain itself. Because the way we used to govern our villages was more of a consensual democracy. And therefore consensus building was very important. Now we have these Gram Sabha and all these things. But earlier it used to be in a very informal manner. People used to come, sit together, just declare earlier. So you know, who are people sending? Some questions are about 5 minutes. Sir, I have two questions. First one is three days back called Malapuram. I was shocked in my life. I saw the Pakistan flags. So suddenly I, you know, then I concentrated. Is this really Pakistan flag? But no, that's one of the party. I mean, local state level party flag almost looks like Pakistan flag. So how election commission approved that flag? Regulations to decide about the flags. Yes. No, I am afraid election commission doesn't have anything. Today, if you go, commission will say, if they switch a particular position from A to B, they need to be made answerable, ideally. If they don't implement on their manifesto, some, some mechanism has to be there to question them, divide, divide it to do that. There is nothing. The flag, although it's...